This is Line Break. I'm T. D. Walker. On this episode, I'm delighted to have as a guest poet Holly Lynn Walrath reading her poems. Holly Lynn Walrath is a writer, editor, and publisher. Her poetry and short fiction have appeared in Strange Horizons, Fireside Fiction, Analog, and Flash Fiction Online. She is the author of several books of poetry, including Glimmer Glass Girl, 2018, Numinose Lapidi, 2020, and The Smallest of Bones, 2021. She holds a BA in English from the University of Texas and a master's in creative writing from the University of Denver. In 2019, she launched Interstellar Flight Press, an indie science fiction and fantasy publisher dedicated to publishing underrepresented genres and voices. As a freelance editor, she provides editing services for writers and organizations of all genres, experiences, and backgrounds, but she enjoys working with new writers best. A book is a tomb. And Words Are Souls by Holly Lynn Walrath After Sophia Samatar We traveled a long way to rest here. Some of us fell from the mouths of giants. Others, needle-pricked, welled from the tongues of children. We arranged our bodies in lines for emphasis, like puppets who cry glass and black oil. We try not to think about such petty things as who goes first or last. When combined, we are the light of the world. But there are those who've forgotten our names, or perhaps they never learned. If what they say about us is true, then reading is a prayer, and faith is the monk pricking gold into the corners of our mouths, pressing us between sand and time, striving into the ghost hours of the night, whispering, remember, remember, remember. Coyote Eats the City by Holly Lynn Walrath I have a fragile body, but a deceptively strong mind. This is what I have learned about myself from hunting Coyote in the dead of night through city streets. She pisses in the gutter and her eyes flash for a moment, but not seeing me in the darkness, she stalks onward, ever hunting small prey like armadillos and rats, never seeming to notice the frail human tailing her. She is opposite to everything here. The teen girls who stop under a neon sign to take pictures, their short dresses glistening like blood and glass. She seems to have no memory of place, simply walking on, always on, never going back. She is like time. She looks for anarchy to create, but this isn't a place where she can rule. I know I am in love with a god, when she finally notices me and turns once to look at me. I would violate your body if it wasn't stolen, she says in a low growl, panting, drinking from the rainwater that fell this morning. I look down at my human hands and wish one last time they were claws. I used to be prey. I made myself the biggest predator of all, a man. Coyote chews on the side of a building, but it breaks her teeth, and she shakes her head in anger. The city has broken her. She walks on, tail dragging in the filth and oil and mud, searching for the way things used to be, for forest and shadow and fern. Divergent and Rotten to the Core by Holly Lynn Walrath I am cutting out pieces of me in spirals. She whispered in my ear, Apple girl, can we just not? I need a spell for how to believe in my own sex. Sometimes I think we're just drunk on impulse whimsy. She's sleeping on Esplanade with the muse. This place is a smoke railway. Her voice is an arrow pulled from the quiver, broken. I need to work on vengeance. If I squeeze my eyes real tight, I can see its elfin shame. So tiny. I walk down Frenchman Street and take off my plain girl clothes. I am the least barren thing here and I let myself lie under the tree, knotting up my baggage, shoving it under my skin. She is panoramic, abandoned house empty. At night we will drink, will drink, null drink, null numb, drunk with love. This has been Line Break. Thanks so much to our guest, Holly Lynn Walrath. For more information about Line Break and to find out more about the poets featured on each episode, visit our website, linebreakshortwave.com. Reception reports are welcome, and we'd love to hear your comments about the show. Send an email to qsl at linebreakshortwave.com. Thanks for listening.